Hello all, it is a brand new week. It is Monday, December 12th in the NBA. Let's get back into it. We got three NBA picks coming your guys' way. But first off, let's recap how Sunday went. We ended the week one and one, losing a little bit of juice. LeBron James crushes it over and points, scores 35. No sweat that. Chris Middleton, well, he gets injured in the first quarter. That's just unfortunate. He does not score a single point, but he can't really do that when he's on the bench injured. Hopefully he gets back soon and he's back ready to go. But either way, let's go back to the winning ways. Let's have a great profitable week. And let's dive into it. If you are new, go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button too. We're closing in on 58,000 subscribers. Go do that. Now it's Monday, so our Monday Night Football Patriots versus Cardinals best picks is live. Already a player prop, spread pick, and a long shot, same game parlay, plus 4,100 odds. You should go check that out. But look, let's dive into the plays. I don't have a best bit of the day today, but that might return on Wednesday. Let's dive into this first one. It's in the latest game on the slate, Clippers versus Celtics. I'm taking Paul George's over 22 and a half points, which is currently minus 113 on FanDuel. Now, I was quite surprised to stayed at 22 and a half, so I would play it up to 23 and a half, and I'm confident that George could go out there and score 25 or more tonight. Now, you look at George, he looks back to healthy, back to full form. He missed, obviously, a, a couple weeks in there, but the last two games scored 29 and 36 points. Now, his running mate, Kawhi Leonard, still doesn't really look himself now he could come out of here maybe this is the first game he looks good but there's plenty to go around on this clippers roster and today they're back at home taking on the celtics and what should be a high scoring game over under 225 and a half points they're going to need points to beat a celtics team that can put up points better than almost any team in the nba now you look at Kawhi leonard he's still going to be playing i anticipate obviously there's always potentially doesn't play so that would raise this line even more but you look at paul george on the year 23.7 points per game he obviously had some games that really deflated that number they Thanks to an injury and he just didn't look good but over the last two games looking really good and he's shooting the ball a lot the last two games 20 and 27 field goal attempts and he's almost shooting this attempts this points line and just attempts alone and i fully expect him to come out here and shoot 18 maybe even more times but 18 might be his floor and in his and this season he should shot 18 plus times 11 times this year hit the over in seven of them seven of them now obviously you can go out there and go five for 18 this is paul george He's a streaky shooter, but I anticipate he's going to play pretty well here. And, you know, the Boston Celtics defense hasn't really really been that great this year. And he's played pretty well against Boston in his career. His last 13 matchups against them, averaging 25 points per game, hitting this over a good amount of the time. And since becoming a Los Angeles Clipper, played them three times, scored 25 four a game he got injured in and then 32 points so obviously if he doesn't get injured he probably has a good chance of hitting the over so look it's a big time game on nba tv the clippers obviously still want to string together some wins to kind of move up the playoff standings i think pg comes out here plays pretty well at least shoots a bunch and i think he knocks down some shots against the celtics a big time game give me his over 22 and a half points is my first play of the day i play it up to 23 and a half now for my next play we're going to i believe the second latest game on the slate as the timberwolves back on the road in portland taking on the blazers and i'm going with the blazer jeremy grant over 21 and a half points minus 113 on FanDuel. now you look at grant and the blazers this is a rematch of just what happened i believe what on saturday when these two teams played again and you looked at that game you saw jammer grant only go out there and shoot 13 times scoring 17 points now you're like, Austin, why are we taking the over? Well, you look at his teammates, Anthony Simons. He had 31 points. Damian Lillard had 36 points. And what I like to do a little bit of line reading for these picks because in that game, Jeremy Grant entered with a 19 and a half point line. He obviously went under that with 17 points. Yet, the book said, all right, we like what we saw. We're going to raise it by two points. And I think that's a good indication that I think the Blazers or the Timberwolves are going to come out here and play the Blazers a little bit differently on defense. I think we're going to see a lot more traps on Simons, a lot more traps on Lillard, and I think a guy like Grant is going to, going to come out here and play pretty well. He has a great matchup. The Timberwolves give the fourth most points per game to opposing power forwards. That's his position, and the Timberwolves are going to make defensive adjustments. Whether you like it or not, they're going to do some adjustments, and they're going to try better to defend Lillard and Simons. They obviously just lost last game because those guys scored 67 combined points. Now, I don't think they're too concerned about Jeremy Grant, at least right now, but I think Grant's going to come out of here and play pretty well, and I think the Blazers are going to try to get him the ball pretty early. I mean, only 13 field goal attempts for him. You look at prior to that, he was attempting, you know, 15, 17, 20 field goal attempts. I mean, the last two games, he has gone under with 18 and 17 points. So still getting somewhat close to the line, but not going over. Prior to that, he'd scored 27 plus points in six straight games. So I think it's just a bounce back here. I think Lillard and Simons make an effort to get him the ball. And I just think there's plenty to go around. Over under 232 points. This is a game against the Timberwolves. High scoring is probably going to be guaranteed. And I think there's plenty of points to go around. I think Jamer Grant plays pretty well, at least gets over 22 points. He maybe even scores 25, potentially even 30. This is a great matchup for him. I think he does pretty well. We'll take his over 21 and a half points. It's my second play of the day. No spread pick stuck out to me today. This is normally where a spread pick would go. 
but none of them really stuck out. So I don't really want to force a spread pick. The spread picks were super hot and then now they've been super cold. So I want to kind of take a break on there, kind of take a step back, see exactly, you know, what teams are playing well and target those spread picks. But my third and final play will be our under of the day. It's going to be one that if you're a long time viewer on the channel, you're going to love this one because it's Miles Turner under seven and a half rebounds plus 110 on DraftKings. We're getting great value over on DraftKings plus 110. Look, Sign me up for a little bit of plus money. Now, Turner and the Pacers are at home facing the Miami Heat. And these two teams played earlier this year, but I believe about a month ago, and Turner ended with seven rebounds right on the hook. Now, that was a game Jalen Smith, the guy that the other big man that normally runs with him, only played 11 minutes. He got injured in that game. And you saw Turner out there with Nemhard, he had McConnell, he had Benedict Matherin. It was basically four guards or short wings and just and Miles Turner. So the fact he still went under shows what he's capable of. And we know Miles Turner, not necessarily known as being a big time rebounder ever in his career. Now he had a stretch earlier this year where Turner was cranking out 10, 12 rebounds. And we should have known after that, we should just target his unders, but we're still gonna make the most of it as Turner over his last 10 games, averaging 6.8 rebounds per game, going under this line in seven of them. Now he did only have three rebounds in his last game, I would love that. Go out there and duplicate that. Get three rebounds again. And the reason I'm really here is that the Heat are a bad matchup for opposing centers in terms of rebounds. In fact, the Heat allowing the fewest rebounds per game to opposing centers this season. Over the last like seven games, that number's down to like nine rebounds per game to centers. And recently we've seen guys that get a lot of rebounds go up against the Heat and not get a lot of rebounds. You saw Avika Zubac in their last game. He played 34 minutes. Now, yes, he had eight rebounds and hit the over that Miles Turner got, but this is a guy that averages 11.2 rebounds per game. The fact he went over three rebounds below his normal average, pretty good telltale sign that the Miami Heat don't give up a lot of rebounds. Now, another guy, Steven Adams, another guy that gets a ton of rebounds. He played 28 minutes versus the Miami Heat, only had four rebounds. So another guy that averages 10.5, going 6.5 below his normal line. So Turner, look, if you look at his track record against Miami Heat, very good. He's under in 13 straight games. Now, I do put on the screen, don't read too much into this because obviously a guy that goes under in 13 straight, it's not like his team has been the same every single game. Sabonis used to be there. He's obviously not there. And yeah, obviously the Heat on the other side haven't been the same team every single time. The coaching staff's different. The play style's different. Everything's different. So don't read too much into him going under in 13 straight. But he did go under earlier this year, went under a good often amount last year when the team's relatively sort of the same. So we know Turner, not been known as a great rebounder in his career. In fact, he's a career 6.7 rebounds per game. This is actually the most rebounds he's ever averaged in a season at 7.7, .7, normally right around that 6.7 to 7.1-ish territory. So ask him to say under eight rebounds. Look, I'll take my chances at it. It's a bad matchup. He always is a candidate for foul trouble given he tries to block every single shot that comes into the paint. And sometimes he just doesn't try on the rebounds. And I really don't like the matchup for him. He's going to have to go out there and guard Bam out of bio, who is coming off a really bad game. So maybe Bam tries a little bit harder on offense this game. And look, Miles Turner, I love you. You made us a ton of money on your under and rebounds before. Hopefully you can do it once again. So Miles Turner under seven and a half rebounds for plus 110 on DraftKings is my third and final play of the day. We might add a fourth play. And if it is, Drop your favorite play down below in the comments, and maybe that's the fourth play we add. We will see. See if anything comes out there. We don't have lines for a couple different games that I was hoping that we would have lines for, so we'll see. You never know. It's Monday. We want to start the week with a great week, a great day. Now, time to shout out some CUS All-Stars. If you want to become an All-Star, go down below. Hit the join button on the channel. We got five new ones. We got Joey. We got God Yuso. We got Carlos, we got Angelica, and we got Caleb. You guys are the real MVPs. We really do appreciate it. Final two notes, Monday Night Football video, boom, it's right on the channel. Go go check it out. And also, I'll put the link to our call on our shot.com. The hoodies are live on the store. You can go check those out. And we got a bunch of other cool stuff if you want to purchase it. It's all there, call on our shot.com. Let's start the week with the three and no day. Well, the sweep has been eluding us for a while. I think today is when we get it. Let's get after it. See you guys back again on Tuesday morning for some more picks. Peace out.